Hi, my name is Laurent Manier. We are at Finca El Porvenir in Guatemala, in Alta Verapaz, um, uh, on a sustainable off-the-grid agroforestry farm. I'm here with Veronica, uh, my wife, and our two kids, uh, Leo and Dali. Um, basically, pretty much isolated here. Uh, we have uh, uh, on the edge of the farm, uh, a few kilometers away, um, different small, tiny communities. Um, here we are in Kekchi, Kekchi territory, so people speak Kekchi and have um, their um, culture and own ways um, in this part of Guatemala. Finca El Porvenir is a thousand acre farm which is uh, pretty mountainous, um, so there is very uh, little flat spots, um, it's perfect for forestry. We have um, planted more than 150,000 hardwood trees, um, different species. Um, below the, uh, the hardwoods, um, we've planted also thousands of uh, cacao trees. Um, uh, we aiming to revive um, the cacao criollo, which is uh, pretty rare now. We have wild animals, um, meaning our pigs uh, and our other animals roam free in the land. Uh, uh, and are part of the agroforestry system. This is called silvopasture. So we've integrated um, a whole working system uh, with fruit trees um, and uh, of different types, uh, with honeybees, uh, spices, uh, especially cardamom, uh, to make this system uh, both regenerative for the environment um, and also productive here in Guatemala, and we're very lucky to have a very good governmental program that helps in the reforestation effort. Uh, so this has been key into uh, financing this, uh, this whole project. Um, also, when you want to uh, plant trees, um, you have to think that the trees start about that big. So uh, it's important to think about succession. What you're going to plant on the side of the tree while it's that big and everything else is uh, under the sun. And then uh, what are you going to do when the trees are a little, a little bit uh, bigger and start giving shade, etc. So in every steps, you need to think about the succession so that you can have some cash to at least maintain your operation and not be maintaining it with uh, outside uh, financial uh, subsidies. The idea of agroforestry is to do a bit what permaculture does, but on a larger scale. You want to regenerate and make a place sustainable, both financially, but also especially environmentally biologically, etc. At the beginning, it's quite a lot of efforts. So. And then uh, as the trees grows and have, as your system gets implemented, it becomes uh, sustainable and requires less and less input to sustain itself. And eventually, your trees are providing crops and, and then it makes it financially interesting. While your land is being regenerated and, and becoming richer, you can make a living. So agroforestry, once it's established, provides um, quite a lot of uh, abundance. Um, uh, to manage this abundance, you have to uh, focus on certain crops, I think, um, and, uh, and maybe transform them to add value, to give more work at the place, uh, and to facilitate then the transportation and bringing it to, um, uh, to the market. And also you need to think about the scale of it all. It's very important uh, that the scale is sufficient, uh, that it's at the end worth your time and effort and energy, not just to plant it, but then to harvest and to uh, do the processes. Uh.
Well, if I had to look back uh, uh, 10 or 12 years ago before or when I was starting this project, uh, I would seek more information uh, of people who have done it before. In my case, uh, years ago here in Guatemala, without so much internet, it's been difficult to find information and advices and experiences of people who have done it and made some of this mistake and some of this. I would have loved to have more um, resources in terms of information. Times are changing, I think. It's time for the young generation to, to really start believing and then do and bring about the changes. In a system like this, we are independent and it's perfect because of all the abundance that is providing by nature, by the, by the system, it's perfect for communities for communities to um, harvest, transform, distribute, talk about, uh, live together, obviously. But this abundance that is created um, requires uh, so many different aspects of what humans can do, not just agriculture, not just transformation, but also videos. Uh, bringing to market. This sounds easy, but I can tell you uh, shipping cacao or chocolate um, to Japan takes a lot of organization and skills. Uh, and this is why we many. And this is why a community fits very well this uh, agroforestry system. This is all good news. We can do it. We have this dream of living together with nature without destroying it, it's possible. We're doing it here on a large scale. Let's do it. Huh?